Are there cultural differences in the perception of orgasm and sexuality? Why do some women experience anorgasmia and how to overcome it? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. There are cultural differences in the perception of orgasm and sexuality. Attitudes may vary according to taboos, gender roles, sexual education, religion, social norms, and sexual diversity. It's important to recognize and respect these differences to promote a more inclusive understanding of sexuality globally. Anorgasmia is the inability to reach orgasm and can have multiple causes, such as emotional, psychological, or medical factors. Overcoming it may require sexual therapy, counseling, or changes in how one approaches sexuality, including open communication with the partner. Passion for learning. Showing interest in learning new things and continuing intellectual growth can be attractive. Pelvic floor training. Both men and women can benefit from pelvic floor training to enhance the intensity and control of their orgasms. Exercises like Kegel exercises can strengthen the muscles involved in the sexual response. Pleasure without penetration. Penetration is not necessary for experiencing anal pleasure. External stimulation with fingers or toys can also be pleasurable. Post-orgasm sensations. After an orgasm, men may experience a variety of sensations, including a feeling of relaxation and drowsiness due to the release of hormones like oxytocin. Preference for long hair. Some research suggests that people often find individuals with long hair more attractive. This could be related to perceived health and fertility. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Relationship between pornography and addiction. Pornography addiction is a debated topic in the scientific community. Some people may develop a dependence on excessive pornography consumption, but not all consumers become addicts. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Safe exploration. Exploration of anal sex should be safe and consensual. It is always advisable to start gently and listen to the body's signals. Sex and cardiovascular health. Sex is a physical exercise that can benefit cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest that sexually active people may have a lower risk of heart disease. Sex and longevity. Several studies have shown that an active sex life may be related to greater longevity. Endorphins released during sex can reduce stress and improve mood, contributing to a longer and healthier life. Sex during menstruation is a personal choice. Some couples find it entirely satisfying and comfortable, while others may prefer to avoid it. Using protection is essential if engaging in sex during menstruation. Sex in space. As space exploration advances, questions arise about how sex will take place in space. Microgravity conditions may pose unique challenges for sexual activity. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Sexual therapy is a branch of psychology that focuses on helping individuals overcome sexual problems and improve their sex lives. Sexual therapists can work with individuals or couples to address concerns such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and lack of desire. Sexuality in ancient Egypt. In ancient Egypt, sexuality was considered a natural part of life, 
and was reflected in Egyptian art and mythology. Sex was viewed as a divine act. Sleep orgasm. Women may experience orgasms during dreams, known as nocturnal orgasms. This is entirely natural and can occur without any conscious physical stimulation. Smile. A sincere and kind smile is attractive to many people, as it is associated with kindness and empathy. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. The association between sex and creativity, some studies have suggested that sexual activity can stimulate creativity and problem solving. The release of dopamine and oxytocin during sex may enhance cognition. The effect of meditation, meditation, and mindful practices can enhance sexual life by reducing stress and increasing mind-body connection. These practices can help people be more present during sex and enjoy it more fully. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. The relationship between sex and mental health, mental health and sexuality are interconnected. Having a healthy sex life can contribute to better emotional well-being and reduce anxiety and depression. The role of dopamine. In sex, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a key role in desire and reward. During sexual activity, the brain releases dopamine, contributing to the sensation of pleasure and reinforcing the desire for sex. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Unusual fetishes. Fetishes can vary widely, and some individuals have unusual sexual interests. This may include an attraction to objects, specific roles, or unique situations. Vaginal orgasm versus clitoral orgasm. While clitoral stimulation is a common source of female orgasms, some women may experience vaginal orgasms from stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall, known as the G-spot. Variability in sexual development. Sexual development does not always follow a linear path. Some people may experience changes in their sexual orientation or gender identity throughout life. It is important to respect and support individuals on their journey of self-discovery. Virginity. The perception of virginity and its importance varies widely depending on culture and time. In some places, it is highly valued, while in others, it is considered less relevant. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.